Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of um, Phrases and Sayings. So today, uh, I'm going to talk about the phrase... Curiosity yeah, curiosity killed the cat. Except, that's half of the phrase. The whole phrase is actually curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Now the reason I want to talk about the phrase is exactly what was just brought up. The idea that for a lot of a lot of people don't know the whole phrase, mainly because of the factor that many, 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 many people are curious in the world. Most of the time, though, they the response is something that they don't expect to a point where there is no satisfaction, and for the most part, that is the outcome. That's the reason the first half of that phrase is way more well-known than the second half. However, that whole phrase is how it really goes. And the second half is applicable every now and then to certain individuals. Let's go off of an example. First of all, the part, curiosity killed the cat. Say you were curious about, I don't know, who was playing a sports game game of a sport that you really like and one of the two was your team that you go for whether it's football um, over in over in anywhere other than the US or if you live in the US soccer um, if, if it's like no so I think Pink Fox is a little bit confused. How f So for those who don't know, before we continue on with this topic, football, F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L, -L, anywhere else is called football the Americans. No, it's called Americans. Football de la Americana is what you're thinking of. It literally means football the Americans. But anywhere else in the world, outside of America, football refers to what Americans call soccer. And I'm just trying to, you know, separate the two and present them the way anybody who watches this may appreciate. So, anyway, that's off the topic. Point is, say, you know, it's one of your favorite sports and your, your team is playing. You're curious about it and you want to watch it. You're busy, though, so you can't. You're curious who wins later on. You're really hoping... That it's your team. This is where that phrase kind of splits. Curiosity killed the cat. You already have applied. Your team wins. You have just triggered the phrase, the end of the phrase, but satisfaction brought it back. Now, this phrase is something that goes around a lot, and unfortunately is notoriously known for the worst part of the phrase rather than the better. It's not the only one, though. And I'm not going to go into details of all the others. Those are for other episodes of this series. But this particular one sticks out more than the others either way around, which is why I chose this one to talk about. Um, of course, like I said, the curiosity of the cat part is way more well-known. And as I said, it's because a lot more people seem to be disappointed when they get curious more often than not. Like, going back to that original example, um, I don't know. Say, you know, your team lost instead. Only the first half would apply. And for a lot of people, this seems to be a consistency. It seems like that negative side seems to ha it happens way more often than the alternative, but it also depends on how you personally approach the matter. Now I'm not going to get into the too much into the psychology on all this. That's not too much of the point of this video, but I will go into little vague details about it. The mindset of this kind of thing is the reason people know the first half more than the alternative, the second half is because the mindset of a lot of people either are way too hopeful without prepping for the alternative or just get mad either way around. And this is a lot of individuals in the world. 
I figured I'd use the sports thing as an example because this is what vast majority of the world can relate to. I personally can't, but I know enough about the topic to at least use it as an example. Anyway, I digress. This is just kind of my thought process on um, the phrase itself. There's a lot more I can go into about it, but I do find it interesting how the first half everyone knows, but the second half barely anyone knows. <laughs> In the 7.1 billion people on this planet, maybe... 15% know about that, the second half of that phrase. Okay, that was over-exaggerated, but you get my point. Uh, either way around, though, I am going to leave this here. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on this phrase? Let us know in the comments below. If you have a suggestion of a different one you'd like discussed on here, let us know down there as well. We'll definitely take into consideration. We have been asked um, to talk about different things before, but it was only just to ask to talk about them never like a specific something so if you have a very specific something in mind please let us know uh, you won't see it off the fly it'll probably be like two weeks later or something like that just because of the fact that these are always prepped two to four weeks ahead of time uh, depending on the circumstances being planned for but we'll definitely try to get to it as soon as we can um, but if you did like the video make sure to give it a like and if you really like this kind of stuff consider subscribing to the channel Want to check out any other uh, phrases and sayings that have been discussed so far? Uh, click a link on the side of my head, and you'll find quite a few of them. If you click a link on the other side, you'll find something that maybe you'll enjoy a bit more. If this is not directly your cup of tea, but, you know, you might find something a bit more entertaining for you. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys. We hope to see all of you in another. Catch you guys later.